Okay. Want to talk about? I was just made her the book that every woman needs. A book every man want women to read. This this theory of mine is about um, how I open my book up. First chapter, titled "Sex Is Not Love." Now, I felt this was important. So like I say, there's a lot of confusion. I felt this was important because sometimes, a lot of times, women confuse sex with men, with love or feelings or relationship, and men view it totally different. I'm going to read a quote. Um, this is the quote I started my book off with. It's from Barbara Cartland. She said, among men, sex sometimes results in intimacy. And among women, intimacy sometimes results in sex. That's a good, to me, um, it sums it all up, just the difference of how men and women do it. Like women are being intimate and getting to know a guy, and then it results to sex where men, sex is the first thing they want. And then sometime afterwards, they get to know that um, they like the girl or want a relationship. That's something that you need to understand, that initially when we first look at you, um, and this is anyway, I mean, don't get confused in your setting or, or who it is, is, is normally lust or physical attraction first. It's initial. That's what we're thinking. Now, you as a woman, you set the tone to make us think differently. And then I know sometimes, um, and that's by your, your work, you know, your personality. Once we get to know you, once you slow us down, pump our brakes to, to let us know. If it's worth getting to know me, it's going to be not that easy. You're going to have to get to know me and show me that you're worth me giving myself to you. And that's how all women should be. But, again, that's a perfect world. It's a rare occasion where women feel physically attracted to a guy. I know when you run across alpha males, sometimes it's that way, or just sometimes it's that time for you. It's like you're just ready to do you for whatever reason. Now, I know we're all supposed to wait before we have marriage to have sex, but it doesn't. That's, that's not how it normally works. So I'm just speaking out of truth again. But if you do, make sure you understand how men do sex. Don't get it twisted. Don't let the BS fool, fool you. Don't let any of that. Like, we know, like, we the guys that handle their business know why you love us. And we know we're not showing you any traits of love other than sex. And and this is what the guy be saying behind your back. Rush, you big dog. She told me she love me. Yo, I had to crack a smile because this bitch ain't love me. She love my doggy style. Ouch. Right. Ouch. I know. But we know that you only like our doggy style. We know that you only like how I taste you. We know you only like how I got your legs in the air. We know that you only like the how I'm flipping you around, handling you, and you just never felt this way before. Because we know we've done nothing else. Because we know how we are in a relationship. We know how we can actually pamper a woman, and we haven't done any of that. Somehow, we met you. The relationship got physical. I'm not judging how it happened, but just put it in perspective to know that it's just sex. If all you're getting from a guy is late night or only time he wants to see you is when that's involved, that's just what it is. And don't be mad at him for it, especially if you signed up for it. Just know, you know, every man that make you feel good is not good for you. For a relationship, sometimes you just got to know how to enjoy the ride and get off. If there's something that you, you know, chose to do. And I'm not judging any women. I'm not like the guys like, oh, she's a whore. I don't really judge women like like guys do. I know you sleep. I'm smart enough to know. I'm around enough to know. You sleep with who you want to sleep with. You do who you want to do. You sleep with some sooner. Some you take longer. But it's all your body. You can do what you want. All I'm saying is don't twist and think that it is love because a man is continually having sex with you because he can have sex with you pay attention 
for years and feel nothing for you at all. I'm going to say that one more time because uh, it might be some women in this situation that need to hear this. He can have sex with you not for a couple weeks, not for months, years, and have no feelings for you at all. Like if you're gone tomorrow, it'll just be like, man, well, that was fun. All right, I understand, shorty. You got to do what you got to do. I understand you're in a relationship now. And you'll be able to tell. You'll be able to tell the difference in those guys. The guys that want more, they don't want to spend time with you when they don't have anything to do with sex. They'll invest in you. It'll be things that they want to do other than sex. Like you'll notice that you're important to them. And again, I'm not knocking the guy or the girl in the situation. I'm just trying to get women to put in perspective that men can just have sex and that be that. Don't think you're whipping it on them or you're going to do anything and make them fall in love with the sex or because that's not it. The only time we have feelings involved with sex, if it's the woman we're interested in or the one we're in a relationship with, that's it. Other than that, it's just sex. It's just like playing a video game. It's just like going to the racetrack. It's just like our drink. It's just like anything we enjoy that we don't have an emotional tie to. That if you take it away, we won't be devastated. Now, I know that's tough, but it's just truth. Brief rant. I was just made hurt. Telling you, you need this book. It's good information. Again, I'm not bashing. I'm enlightening. I'm just finally, I felt it was a need for somebody to tell the truth instead of, you know, the sugar coating and, and the things that sound good. I, I just can't do it. I don't feel like you can help anybody by patronizing friends or whatever. You need to know the truth. You know, some relationships are just sexual. That's just what it is. Just because he bring you a crab cake or something after the club to go with it, he was hungry. He was hungry too, so he called to see if you wanted something to eat. He drunk leaving the club. That's not a date. It's not a date. It's just sex. It's just sex, and he conveniently bought you a crab cake because he was getting one himself. I was just made hurt. Follow me. I was just made hurt. Um, David Lloyd Marcus at Gmail dot com. Contact me on Facebook. I got hard copies. Download me on Kindle. Um, anything with Kindle apps, iPads, um, Android phones, anything. And, and I love everybody that's supporting this movement and understands what I'm really trying to do. I'm mature enough to understand what I'm trying to do and, and know that it comes from a good place. Like I said, I have four daughters. Talk to my wife, talk to my mother, talk to female friends. I talk to everybody the same way because I want them to know. I don't want them lost like like most of the world. And I watch all of the updates of people um, going back and forth and talking about God. It's just like enough. I wanted y'all to hear. I want you to know so you understand. So you can get to a level of understanding because there's power in that. Love y'all.